Hello everyone and welcome back to my bullet journal channel. Today is the June 2020 setup. Um, so as you can see, this theme is ice cream and I love this theme. It's probably one of my favorites from 2020 so far. There is a lot of color in this theme, mostly this lavender color, but also a lot of light pink, light blue, a minty color, um, a bright yellow, some orange. Um, so it's not regular looking ice cream, but on this title page, it's kind of like my coffee theme that I did in January, where there's a bunch of different types of ice cream just scattered throughout the page. I drew them in with pencil beforehand just because it took me a little bit of time to draw, but they're still pretty easy designs, nothing super fancy. Um, so yes, I just had them pre-drawn in just so that it would be easier um, when I shot the video and I'm only going to outline a few for you guys to kind of see the favorite ones that I like but it really is very easy and there's no super elaborate kinds of ice cream that, because I can't draw it either to be honest. So as you can see, there's popsicles, there's sundaes, there's a milkshake, there's ice cream cones, there's soft served ice cream. And on this page, oh, sorry about my head right there. On this page, I'm going to have a quote like I normally do with another huge ice cream cone. And of course a cherry on top. Also the lettering that I'm kind of going for this particular theme is lowercase and just almost like block letters but i'm not really drawing them as block letters i'm writing them just like normal print letters and then just kind of like outlining them again and going over them to make them a little thicker but i didn't want to do exactly like block letters so i just it's kind of just like medium size they're not even very thick letters and the quote that I'm going to have here is never settle for just one scoop, whether it's ice cream or beyond that, but keep going, know your worth, you always deserve more. When I finished this page, I actually added some confetti in the background too, just for an extra pop because it looked a little plain to me. But feel free to do whatever you like. You can always add more little ice cream cones everywhere since you never should settle with just one scoop. So for the calendar setup, I really didn't want to do a calendar setup during summer. I actually don't really even bullet journal during summer. Um, I kind of just do lists in my bullet journal and that's how I keep track of things since I have no tests or assignments due anywhere. But to kind of organize for the summer, I do this outline of the huge like candy bar, um, chocolate flavored of course because that's my favorite flavor. And this is just going to be an outline for my summer to-do list. So. I know there's different ways to do different kinds of organized lists. I just like to do a really plain list and kind of just list things out top to bottom in no particular priority. But feel free to do whatever works for you. And so yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do a calendar setup for this month, probably not for July either. 
but kind of on the left page you'll see just like a little place for events that I will have but this is just a summer to do page So here I'm going to draw a little sundae at the bottom uh, of ice cream just for the extra jazz and on the top of the page or the majority of the page it's just going to be a June events kind of situation where I just am going to list out most of the events that I have in June and so what I like to do when I list out events without a calendar is I just draw a little colored circle. Um, which you will see and I list the date in the circle and then the event next to it so kind of helps me keep track of both and I kind of put it in of, um, order of which event comes first Those are the circles and I will just write down the date of the event in there and then the event next to it. I really don't have too much in June, obviously because we're at home in quarantine, but feel free to make transform that area into however you need to. But yeah, this is pretty much it. Obviously, I won't color it in because that's just boring, but here is the finished look. Um, I hope you like it. I know some of those colors are a little bizarre. But I just love the bright look and I've seen this theme everywhere and I love it and I hope you do too. Hope you guys are all safe and thank you for watching.